The European Union's energy commissioner has been coming to Iran for years. But this may be Miguel Arias Canetti's last trip to Tehran to discuss the 2015 nuclear deal. Unless these men can convince European companies that Iran is a safe place to do business, even if it stays on the books, the nuclear deal is likely to be one in name only. European governments are working to secure exemptions and waivers to protect their companies. But even Kennedy admits they will need to get them from the same American government that pulled out of the deal in the first place. It is something so unlikely that shortly before their meeting, Iran's foreign minister Javad Zarif, one of the deal's main architects, told MPs it wasn't clear if European companies would trust their own government's promises. If investors have wide relations with America, we shouldn't forget that they have considerable interests in Iran. So investors must make a choice, and my suggestion is that besides the solid economic choice, they should also pay attention to their social responsibilities and the pursuit of a better world with more logical thoughts and policies. The goal is to move forward to a better world, not for some people to be destroyed while others profit. This attitude must be stopped. But for European companies with bottom lines, risking overwhelming punitive measures to take the moral high ground and change the accepted order of global business is likely too much to ask. The new U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo is expected to propose new talks with Iran for a nuclear deal that Donald Trump will like. But the Iranians say they do not trust the Americans and they will not renegotiate. A poster recently added to the front of the old American embassy is perhaps the best way to illustrate how many Iranians feel about the nuclear deal these days. A likeness of Iran's foreign minister at the negotiating table with an American. Above the table, it's business as usual. But under the table is a different story. Zain Basravi, Al Jazeera, Tehran.